Greetings people of intellect. This is my book review of The Art of War by Sun Tzu. This is one of the most ancient philosophies that still pervade our society um, which in, in a good way, in a good way. Uh, not in like it's an outdated, it's, it's more of one of those timeless um, classics. I think, I believe it was written in like 500 BC um, and, and its principles and philosophies still govern a lot of uh, modern day um, not only warfare but also business tactics and, and, and it has to do a lot with success as well. There's uh, the, the the book is basically the way I looked at it was a lot of um, tweets, if you will. Like if, if tweeting was a thing back then, this would be uh, Sun Tzu's. Um, like he has like they're just sentences of different philosophies, and some of them get very specific about like you should the soldiers should never fight uh, an opponent who's uphill and 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 stuff like that um, where it's sometimes very specific to warfare and other times it's very generic to to be implemented in, in everyday life so there's three main uh, topics that I came away with and um, the first being that it, this is of course known everywhere but you should if you know your enemy and you know yourself in a hundred battles you will not be in peril and this means to know each other's strengths and weaknesses and capabilities um, and and so it's it's foolish to go into a a a battle a meeting without knowing who who the other person is or what the other team is um, and to not, not have done your research and that is what he's referring to here is is study your comp like not your competition but who, the people you're interacting with um, so you know their strengths and weaknesses and how to um, kind of um, interact with them and, and how to respond to them and that sort of uh, interaction. The second uh, major concept that I took away is that to win a hundred ba battles is not the the pinnacle of skill rather to win, a, to subdue your enemy without fighting is and, and this has a lot to do with outwitting versus outfighting and that's why I love this book because through such, through the principles that, that uh, Sun Tzu um, uh, embodies in, in, in this, uh, in his philosophies he took down armies that were ten times his own army size. He, he was not only a general, but he's a great strategi strategist, a philosopher, and 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 major um, major uh, kings and emperors called on him to um, to be the general of their army. And uh, sometimes he would only have like three thirty thousand men, and he would take down armies of three hundred thousand. Um, and it's just, it's so cool the way he does it. Uh, I actually uh, watched a documentary after um, the book about like his philosophies and, and how they predicted Hitler's demise because Hitler, um, whatever the Nazi uh, kind of um, um, didn't follow his philosophy and, and how um, in Vietnam um, the Americans kind of, uh, or the, v the, the uh, Vietnam um, warriors followed uh, Sun Tzu's principles and therefore they they, uh, they succeeded so uh, Sun Tzu predicted the outcomes of wars by by stating certain principles that if, if a certain uh, sovereignty follows they would achieve success or if they did not they would the third thing I came away with is um, to avoid what is strong in your competition or your uh, uh, opponent and, and and target what is weak and uh, that 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 can be used in, in a lot of things um, in just logistics and, and uh, getting through to someone um, so I, I see a lot of universal principles but this is one of the most timeless classics that is read by everyone from from generals of armies to CEOs and I'm really glad that I, I stumbled upon it and now I, I love uh, Sun Tzu's philosophy.